Jonathan Ross has been given some incredible film memorabilia over the years, but he has made a big blunder with some of his James Bond collection. Jonathan Ross, ITV's host for the Oscars, has made a major mistake with his amazing James Bond collection. The talk show presenter loves movies and even got special bullets from Bond films, but unfortunately, he's mixed them up. He shared, per the mirror, I've been on several of the Bond film sets and I collected a few bullets so I've got some bullets that were discharged in Pierce Brosnan's last film and I've got some bullets from Daniel Craig's first Bond movie. But tragically I've mixed them up. So I can't tell you which one came from which film. He also got a grenade prop from his friend Matthew Vaughn, who made the movie kick ass. His wife, Jane Goldman, wrote the script for it. Jonathan also admitted most movie props don't look great by themselves. But they're meant to look good in the films. Next weekend, Jonathan will be on ITV talking about the Oscars. He's seen all the big movies that might win, and he thinks they all should be up for Best Picture. He said, Best Picture, I can see why they're all nominated, I think they all deserve a nomination. Some of them, as a viewer and audience member, didn't excite me as much as others, so I have been a little mystified at the praise heaped on Oppenheimer and Killers of the Flower Moon. I am not huge on either of those two. I love Poor Things. American fiction I loved as well. It felt quite of the moment. Anatomy of a Fall I think is incredible. I suspect it'll go to Oppenheimer. At this point, Jonathan discussed his issues with the recent BAFTA winner, Oppenheimer. Clearly Oppenheimer, the craftsmanship. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounded. It was the script I had a major problem with. It felt meandering and somewhat unfocused. Moving on to the acting awards, he remarked at the BAFTAs, on Best Actress and Best Actor I am not surprised at the list particularly. Bradley, Cooper, it was one of those movies that was designed for award season. Once again, it didn't excite me. On Best Actress, I think it'll go to Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon.